Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the mid-season of this 2025-2026 uh, season with Hereford. So things are going okay, we've been a little bit up and down the table. Um, uh, as you can see from the graph here we're going steadily, steadily coming up to the playoff zone. But we're still quite a long way off. Last season we finished in 10th. And at the moment we're 11th. I'm not really thinking we're going to win this next match. To be honest with you. Um, so we're probably not going to improve our position at the moment. For the winter transfer window we only got one new player. And that was uh, not an in intentional. Um, we lost one of our players that was on loan. Uh, and we got Will Brig to fill that. Uh, will Greg to fill that gap. Now the player that we lost is actually quite an important player. If you go to transfers, Kobe Moore. Now Kobe Moore, we've had a bit of a history with Kobe Moore. He played with us last season, half of the season, did really really well, 13 goals in 13 games, and then got poached for free by another club. Uh, we managed to get a loan this season, and he played again half of the season. This time he played 23 matches with 14 goals. Again, quite well. Uh, and then they said, well, six months, this is it. Time's up. Uh, time to give it back to us. And you, they wouldn't let us renew the, the deal, so we lost him again. Uh, which is kind of part of the reason you kind of see this little dip in our table. We basically lost our best goal scorer all of a sudden. Leighton Stewart is not doing too badly himself, so that's okay. Um, but yeah, so just a bit unfortunate. It's the second season in a row we lost that one particular player. Um, yeah, there's nothing really else to say. We're doing okay financially. Our youth is doing okay. Uh, we've got quite a good youth. Actually, youth candidates, if you look at our next intake, it's looking really promising. I'm hoping that there'll be maybe one or two players with, within that cohort that we might be able to use for the first team, but we'll see. But yeah, they're in the first place of the, the division, doing really well. I'm not sure what, how they're doing for uh, the cup. Oh, they lost on penalties against Ipswich. But yeah, other than that, they're doing really well. So, without further ado, I already picked uh, the selection for the next match. So we're going to go right ahead into it. So here we are playing at home against Yeovil. We, we've had a mixture of results recently, so we're not really at a consistent, in a consistent form. But the goal this season is to get to the playoffs, or at the very least, finish ninth or above. We need to do better than last season. So ninth or above is our goal. Um, as far as positions, I think our biggest concern is still goalkeeping. Uh, and, and obviously then we need to start thinking about the next season. And uh, that's going to be one of our main priorities. See if we can get a improved goalkeeping. Because at the moment it's really flaky. We've got three goalkeepers actually. One of them is more of an under-21 sort of goalkeeper. So it's just a third keeper floating around. But um, they've all had plenty of time on the, on the selection. And none of them have impressed very much. There's one of them that kind of stands out, stands out a little bit more than the others. I guess Young stands out a bit more than, uh, for example, this guy Cracknell. And the other guy, Mears. And in attack, we just keep losing strikers. Uh, as well, so we've not been able to secure some 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 strikers that we used to be able to secure on loan. We're not no longer able to secure them on loan. I guess they've already developed enough to. That was a really funny goal. I guess they've already developed enough not to 
I know, be loaned down, lo loaned out by their clubs. I've only just realized we are one game behind as well. I hadn't noticed that. So, um, no, no major improvements happen either. So nothing through from the board or anything like that. I think it's just like getting those matches done and you know, getting on with it. It's been the uh, the main focus. Nothing happened in the transfer window of no of note. It's been a pretty quiet season. Yeah, th that goalkeeping that. Stopping the shots is not very good. They seem to be falling already for no reason before the shot even comes. Uh, I'm going to remove mm, this guy. See so if we can get fresh legs and attack. <clears throat> so this is kind of to be expected to be honest this score line especially with the goalkeeping issues we've been having against and against this team as well Here we are, it is what it is. Now, the plan is just to move on to the end of the season. And usually what I do is, if if it looks like we're going to be in the playoffs, I'll wait and just broadcast the playoffs. Um, if we're going to miss the playoffs, I'll just come back for the last match of the season. Uh, so it will just depend with how it will pan out after this, until the end of the season. As I said, well, the aim is to finish ninth or above. Ideally, you know, go to the playoffs, have a bit of fun in that. But I don't know if that's going to be entirely possible. I think ninth is a realistic target, though. I think we can do that. And here we are. It's the end of the match. Again, it's just to check in this episode. Nothing really going on differently than than before. Uh, other than the fact that we have some very exciting youth prospects. And that's about it. Let me just continue for a little bit until the next match. To see if anything pops up. Actually, I probably should, while we're here together ask for some things <laughs> see what comes back from that uh, dynamics cohesion's really good although we have a lot of players complaining about having enough time not having enough time rather I'm working on three of them at the moment let's try and ask for another affiliate and what 
else can we ask for? That's it. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave it there. And we'll catch up in the next episode. Again, at the end of the season. And we'll see how it goes from there. Take care. See you next one. Bye-bye.